I play it with my fingers, like this. I know that. Oh, <laughs> you are really grouchy. Now, what was the song you're playing there? Oh, the song yeah. that is called, let me see, Liebestraum. Liebestraum. It is a very nice piece, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why are you playing it? Well, that's a good question. Let me see now. Why am I playing but actually, I don't like it. That's why. You, you don't like it? I hate it. Ah. Yes, that's why I play it. Far out. Yeah. Would you rather hear something else? Yeah. Okay. Hey, didn't you just stop in the middle there? Yes. You I didn't mean, finish it. Never, never finish a piece. Oh, just the way I like things. Good. Say, uh... Why don't you play something good like Chopin, Chopin's con Show who? <laughs> Chopin's uh, Trash Can Concerto Number Two. Whose pants? Uh, how about uh, Rhapsody in Mud? You know that kind of stuff? Of course, I know it all. I've yeah? played it since I was, uh, no, I was about over here. Yeah. Well, well, then what are you waiting for? Just play them, huh? Play them. No. What do you mean, no? I just don't want to play them. That's why. You and don't take want your hands off the piano. Look. <sighs> Yeah. My hero. That's the way to treat a grouch, just by being grouchier than he is. <laughs> bah! Oh, I'm in heaven. Bah! Now 
to perform a quartet. A honker and dinger quartet? <laughs> Sounds interesting, Big Bird. Hmm, you think it's silly, huh? Well, let me tell you, Bob, they just rehearsed and they sounded beautiful. Well, beautiful or not, Big Bird, it can't be a quartet because a quartet needs four musicians. And I only see one, two, three. Ah, but number four is coming right now. So if you just take your seat, <clears throat> I will introduce him. <clears throat> the Sesame Street Chamber Music Society is proud to present our very special guest, Yo-Yo Ma. Thank you, Big Bird. We will perform for you the Beethoven Quartet for two honkers, Dinger and Cello. He wrote that? Ludwig van Beethoven, the famous composer? No, Murray Beethoven, the famous honker.
Good evening. This is Phil Harmonic welcoming you to the Nestropolitan Opera for another exciting Live from the Nest performance. Tonight's opera is called The Telephone of Brazil. It's about a telephone that belonged to a bird from Brazil. The telephone will be played by himself, and the bird will be played by the one and only Senor Placido Flamingo. So please, join me now on the stage of the great Nestropolitan Opera for the telephone of Brazil. I was at home and feeling lonely And I might add a little sad But then all of a sudden something happened My favorite thing I heard a ring at once I knew from where the ring was coming It was my own sweet telephone And so I picked it up and I said something That you might know I said hello And I'm alone, I take the phone I think of someone I would like to talk to Who might agree to talk to me I take my favorite finger and I dial Their numero, I dial slow I wait, and when they answer I say something You may know too, that's how are you? I... Call Papa, Papa, I call Uncle Lou Say I love them, tell a joke or two I call and know the cousin Guido or my friend Jack If I call them this time, maybe next time they'll call back I call Papa, Papa, I call Uncle Lou Say I love them, tell a joke or two I call and know the cousin Guido or my friend From there to here, a horse loves hay, a cat loves milk, dogs love a ball. But Signor Flamingo loves a ringing telephone. Signor Flamingo loves his ringing to a close, another great opera, and another exciting evening, live from the nest. Hello? Uh, Yes, yes, the opera just finished, Mama. Yes, yes, I'll come straight home, and you go straight home, too, the opera's over. Yes, I know. Yes, I
welcome to Pretty Great Performances. I'm your host, Phil Harmonic. Today on the stage of Sesame Hall, Maria and James Galway will perform the concerto for flute and pool toy by Ludwig van Splash. <laughs> While listening and watching the concerto for a flute and pool toy, keep in mind it would not be possible without the air these artists blow into their instruments. an opera, of course. I want to do it well, so I must practice. Practicing an opera in my bathtub? See si, that great, great opera, the bathtub of Seville. Hmm. The bathtub of Seville? See, si. it is all about a flamingo who is very sad. <laughs> yes, you see, <laughs> he wants to take a bath, but the tub is dirty. Yeah, well, La Placido, you're going to have to find another bathtub to sing your opera because I am going to clean this one. Exactly. You'll play the bathtub cleaner. You scrub the tub in time to the music. Well, it wouldn't hurt to have a little opera while I work. Mm-hmm. Oh, I am so sad. I want to take a bath, but the tub is dirty. Quick tub cleaner, clean the tub. Scrub it up, 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 scrub it the tub. Rub it up, 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 rub it the tubby tub tub. Scrub it up, 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 scrub it the tub. Rub it up, 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 rub it the tubby tub tub. Scrub the tub, scrub the tub, scrub the tub, scrub the tub. Are you happy now? Oh, see, si, very happy. I practiced and now I know the opera. And now you can clean me. 